everyone and welcome to this video all about Facebook stories. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your first Facebook business page stories and share it to your tribe over on Facebook. Now, in this video, you'll also learn about the settings inside your Facebook business page stories to make sharing your first story a lot easier. My name is Anita Wong and I'm a digital strategist and tech coach and I love to empower female entrepreneurs to use the tools at their fingertips to make their online visible visibility much better. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're watching this here on YouTube. If you're on my Facebook business page, please give it a like or a follow. And please, if you feel that you would like to share this video with any of your colleagues, please do feel free to share it as well. So without delay, I'm going to share my screen with you. I'm going to pop my phone up on here and I'm going to show you exactly how you create your first Facebook business page stories to share to your followers. Okay, so the best place to do your Facebook business page stories is from your Facebook business page app here inside your telephone. Now this process should work on both the iPhone and an Android. You have access to the Facebook app on both of these devices. So you want to go into your Facebook business page and let's just get that now. Okay, so here we are on my Facebook business page. Now, as you can see, I have my header video and I also have this small circle with a little plus sign next to my name. Now that's where you access your stories from. So when you click on that profile picture, you'll see a drop down box pop up and it says create story, view story, view profile picture or choose a new profile picture. So you wanna go ahead and click the create story button. This is going to give you some options to go inside of your camera roll or you press the camera button, which is there. Now what happens is that you have the camera looking at you. So it's set to, to look at you from face first. Now at the bottom, you'll see that you have a normal setting and you have what's known as a boomerang setting. Now a boomerang setting is where you do a video recording and it sort of boings back. So if I do that now, you see how it sort of double backs on itself. So we're not going to use that one. Okay, so I just want to run over with you all the basics inside of your Facebook business page settings. Okay, so you have this picture option on the bottom left, that's so that you can access the pictures on your camera roll. You then have the flash button, which enables you to put the flash on if you were to take a photograph. You then have the ability to turn your camera around so you can actually turn it around and look the other way. You can actually give your photo a different tone. So you can have a warm tone, you can have a glow, and you can also have a cool tone. So you can also have what's known as a um, filter. So you can actually put some funny filters on your face. So as you can see, you've got all these different masks that you can put on to your Facebook live, uh, sorry, your Facebook story. And these vary depending on the settings that you choose. So there are quite a few that you can use. Now, bear in mind that on your Facebook business page, your stories only last for 24 hours. They, they act exactly the same way as the stories on your Facebook profile and also over on Instagram or Snapchat. Stories last for 24 hours and you can upload them in 15 second in, um, sections. So you can go along and if you want to choose one of these, you can. Okay, so we're just gonna go along and not going to have any. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just undo that. I'm going to put this nice warm glow and I'm going to take a photograph of myself. Now, this is where the magic happens because once you've got your media into your video, now I took a photograph, you could also do a 15 second recording by pressing and holding that button. I'll just show you again. So you go back. If you want to take a video, you press and hold the big button and it will record for you for 15 seconds. Once you've done your 15 seconds, it will automatically stop recording. On Facebook stories, this is a little different to what you're used to over on Instagram stories. So this is just for Facebook stories. As you can see, it's still recording. 
and then it just stops after 15 seconds. If you're used to using stories on Instagram, you'll find that when you do that, it will allow you to carry on recording for four 15 second sections and then it will stop. But here on Facebook stories, you only get the 15 seconds. So I'm gonna go back and just take a photograph. So the things that I'm going to show you how to do now can be used with a photograph or the video that you've just done or the boomerang. So here's my picture. Let's start along the very top of this picture. As you can see at the top, you have what's known as a sticker badge, a letter badge, a squiggle badge and a link badge. If we go to the sticker badge, what it does is it opens up a sub menu with lots of different options. You can have stickers, you can have GIFs, you can have emojis. If we go back to stickers, you can add your location so it will find a place close to you. So if this is the first time you're doing a Facebook business page story and you are a bricks and mortar based business, then you could put your location on. If you're an online strategist like myself and you've got your business registered, you could actually put yourself on there as well. So I'm gonna just pop myself down there. Also on the sticker area, you can put the time, you can also put the temperature. You can also tag. Now tagging is really beneficial if you want to share maybe someone in your networks, photo or video, or you want to promote a product or a brand that you are associated with. So if I was to put here, um, let's do Twisted Concepts. So there's a Twisted Concepts BMX race team. That's part of the race team that I'm in. If I wanted to tag that company, I would do what I just did and they would be tagged. However, if you don't want to tag anyone in your stories and you make a mistake, you can just Put your finger on that and drag it down till you see the little delete bot, but the little trash can and you can pop it into the trash can like so. There are lots of things you can do in your stickers. You can add the day, you can add some different other stickers and there's all sorts of things that you can do. With the GIFs, again, you can type in. So if I were to put in iPhone, it will come up with lots of different GIFs that you can do. Now GIFs are like mini videos that you can have on your page. And to move it around the screen, you just put your finger on it. If you want to make it smaller, you put your two fingers either side and you make and you bring them together. And again, if you want to make it bigger, you just go up. So like I'm doing here, you make it smaller or you make it bigger. You just do that um, movement with your fingers. So I'm gonna pop that down there. Moving over to the text, you can now write text. So you can, you can write text. Hi, this is my first, this is my first stories from my business page. Okay, so then if you want to change the way this works, you can click the pop button and you change the way the writing is presented. If you like a background, you can change the colour of the background by clicking on the colour button and you can change the colour to suit your brand. When you're done, you click the cross and then you can make it semi-opaque by clicking the A, capital A, lowercase a. And as you can see, it takes the background colour off. You can also make your writing go left, right or centre, like so. And you can make your writing bigger and smaller, again by doing the two finger thing. So you pop, you bring it smaller and you bring it up and you can bring it around like so. Then you have the squiggle. Now this is where you can draw lines on and things like that. So if I change the color of my squiggle by clicking the palette, I make that gold. And then I go to the brush and I can make it more solid. I can actually draw something. If you do it by mistake, you can click the undo. So if I wanted to put a little crown in here, I could put a little crown for the queen of tech. You can make it your pencil bigger or smaller by using the little thing on the right hand side. You can click undo if you don't want it to be there. And then when you're finished, you can click done. The next one along is the link. Now the link is a setting inside your Facebook business page stories where you can actually create a link from your 
from any of these buttons to your website. But for your first Facebook stories from your business page, I wouldn't go near the link at the moment. If you want to learn more about how to use that link, then I suggest that you jump into my free Facebook, uh, free Facebook group, the Tech Queen Digital Marketing Lounge, or I do have a course coming out very soon that will help you really optimize how you use that link setting. But for the time being, posting your first ever video or picture to your Facebook business page stories, this is how it's done. Now we've gone along the top without a problem. Now let's have a look at the bottom settings. As you can see, we have what's known as the effects, add direct to your page story and actually save. So let's go to the effects. This gives you the ability to change what your actual image or your video is doing. It gives some different effects. They're not as good here on Facebook as they are on Instagram, but they're still available and there's still some really cool effects that you can use for your Facebook story. So that one's quite good. Once you've done the effect that you like, you just click the little down button and it gets rid of the options. Now you can save this if you want to, to your camera roll, so that if you wanted to upload this into Instagram, you could. If you wanted to use it elsewhere, perhaps you were thinking of creating a Facebook business page stories ad, you could save it down there as well. There are two ways of using this app to post to your Facebook stories. The first way is to just go ahead and click on the pages stories button. You see the one with the plus, the blue plus sign. You can do that or you can click the next button. If you click the next button, however, it gives you the options to share to your news feed on your business page and to your pages stories. I suggest that if you create a story inside the app for your business page stories, that you don't share it to your news feed because you are creating a experience for your fans that they're supposed to look at inside of stories. And if you pop that into your news feed, it will just get a little bit lost and they may not understand what it really means. So if you're gonna use this method, you take, you click off the news feed and you go ahead and click share. If however, you want to just go ahead and click pages, add to pages story, you just click that button and it will automatically add that story to your Facebook business pages story. And as you can see, if I click the button again and I view my story, there's the story that we've just created using our Facebook business pages app to create our Facebook business page story. So that short tutorial showed you how to create your first Facebook business pages story. Now that Facebook business pages story will show up above all of the timeline alongside your personal profile story as well. And I'll show you where that is right now. So to view your actual stories like everybody else views it, you need to go back to your home page, And as you see at the top here, this one here, which says Anita Wong is my business page. If I click that, you can see that there's the story for everyone to see, which is great. And there's one I did yesterday, as you can see at the bottom, it has 15 views and it also has that unique link button that I was talking to you about before. The advantage of having a story as part of your business page is really, really great for your business because not only are you putting posts inside your timeline on your Facebook business page, but you're also reaching a wider audience by putting your posts from your page into your stories as well. So not only are you able to have a story as a person on Facebook, you can also have a story from your Facebook business page. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any questions about this video tutorial, don't forget to put them in the comments below or at the side of this video, depending on where you are viewing this video from. Thanks again for um, watching this video. Don't forget my name is Anita Wong. Do feel free to like my Facebook page, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and do feel free to share this video with your friends and colleagues.